Hello operators, this is Niner Alpha 3 Golf Oscar Sierra. I will show you how to use filters on FT891. You can see here on the waterfall that it is filled with stations and we have some weaker ones around here, so on 1600 Hz, but also we have stronger ones around. We will isolate the 1600, maybe also here. When we have strong and weak signals together, because of the AGC, weak signals will be too weak. So, we have 1500 and something hertz over here. And also, there are some weak stations on the far right side. I'll show you how easy it is to isolate the weaker ones. Let's do some setup first. Enter the chapter 8 of the FT891 and set up the data mode to others if not already set. And then we need to set this one other disp to 1500 Hz. Also we need to set other shift to 1500 Hz. When it's done we are ready. Now we have 1500 Hz as a center of our bandwidth and you will see why this is important. We will set the bandwidth around that. Now we enter the setup. We have the whole width right now, 3 kilohertz. And now we can go here to narrow filter. Now we can choose the width from 50 hertz up to 500 hertz. And here is how it looks like when we choose 500 Hertz. This is without shift, so it's centered around 1500 Hertz. So we have around 250 on the left and 250 on the right. Now we moved it to 50 Hertz width and also without shift. Now we narrowed our bandwidth to only 50 Hz. Now we shifted it to plus 100. So we are now listening to 1600 Hz. You can see what is happening right now with the signal. The AGC kicked in and now we have strong signal signals around 1600. On the band activity, you can see how strong those signals are. So we are decoding at plus 19 signal to noise ratio. Now we move the left again to 1500. And now we turned off the narrow filter and we are back again to whole 3 kilohertz of bandwidth. This is an example how you can filter out some portion of the bandwidth. Now we will go to the second example. 
we have some signals also over there. And we need to shift a little bit more. So again, we use the narrow filter and now we will shift the signal to plus 1000 Hertz. And now take a look at the waterfall, what is happening. Also look at the band activity. Okay, we are waiting for some signals. In 2600 Hertz. Okay, we have one with signal to noise ratio 11. And we have with 16. Let's wait another turn. Okay. We have this one. And with 14 up. We have also this one with 15 and the last one with 10. But you can see on the waterfall what is happening. Now we will turn off the narrow filter and shift. And we are now back again to 3 kilohertz of bandwidth and the waterfall is getting filled with all stations. But you see the AGC how it kicked in. And now bonus. This is with JS8 call. My attempt with Julian. I sent him a message that I am listening on 1500 Hertz. And then he sent me a message back and you can see how big the change is. Here is the original signal to noise ratio. That concludes our demonstration.